Welcome back to 3 one Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, smash the like button. Let's get into the video. Today we're taking a look at the Bodega New Balance 990 V3 in the Here to Stay colorway. Starting over the box, we can see the top is made from a cardboard colored material with the New Balance and Bodega logo mixed together in blue. On the side of the box, we can see it is made from a greenish colored top and a striped cardboard coloring on the bottom part. On the top part, we can see another New Balance logo in an orange box with Bodega written below. On the bottom of the box, we can see a design that says 15 years, Bodega, and thank you, which commemorates the 15 year anniversary of Bodega's existence. On the other side, we can see the box label, which tells us some information about the shoe. He's released on June 16, 2021 for retail price of $220. Before we get into the shoe, let us know down in the comments what your thoughts are on New Balance shoes. Would you sport them? Now let's get into the shoe. Getting to the shoe, we can see the color tones are all earthy, with hints of blue as well. On the upper of the shoe, we can see there are patches of brown and tan toned suede and mesh. The New Balance N logo is positioned in the center in a gray color with white trimming around the patch. In the inside of the shoe, the brown suede is decorated with hole punch outs which match well with the mesh below. Also on the side of the shoe, we can see the outsole which is quite thick and is colored in white, gray, and dark tan rubber with a brown bottom outsole visible a bit. Also on the outsole, we can see it says in cap which is the name of the cushion technology for this model. Towards the top, we can see the top eyelet is in an orange reddish color and the bright blue aqua material from the inside is partially visible too. Moving on to the front, we can see the same color tones with thin wide laces and a light grayish color. The shoes also include extra laces in a blue and brown color which allow for some personalization. On the tongue, we can see New Balance and USA printed on in a purplish blue color with white trimming. In the center of the laces, we can see another splash of orange on the lace loop. On the back of the shoe, we can see on the left shoe it says 2006, and on the right shoe it says 2021, with 2006 being the start year for a bodega. On the top of the back, there is a gray leather patch which says Made in USA, which is notable because USA made shoes tend to be higher quality than non-USA made New Balance shoes. Just below that, it says Bodega in orange on a tan patch, and at the bottom, on a brown bar, it says New Balance. Quite a few logos and brand names on one part of the shoe, but in the words of Seth Fowler, they made it work. Moving on to the outsole, we can see it is a very cool looking design, with a dark tan rubber outsole, a carbon fiber plate in the center, and a blue diamond design towards the toe. We can also see another New Balance branding in orange towards the inside heel on the outsole. Finally, we can take a look at the inside where we can see the aqua colored padding and the bright orange insoles. The insoles are printed with the Bodega and New Balance logo on the left shoe, and on the right shoe, the 15 year anniversary logo, both seen on the box. Stay tuned for reselling information and where we think these shoes are going in the future. Now let's take a look at the resale for the Bodega New Balance 990 V3 in the Here to Stay colorway. These are currently reselling for around $300 depending on the size. Past sales show that there were a couple sales around $500 and then a pretty sudden crash at the time of release. And then they plateaued at around $300. Now we can look at the Bodega New Balance in the Mass Transit colorway. These are currently reselling for an average price of around $500. While there haven't been too many sales in StockX, there is definitely a demand for this shoe at a high price on other sites. Finally, we can look at the New Balance 990 V3 in the JJJ Jound colorway. These are currently reselling on average for around $1,500. These are very similar to the last pair in the sense that there aren't too many sales, but there's definitely a high demand considering the high price. Being a USA made shoe and a Bodega collab, I can expect these shoes to do very well in the future and expect resale to be somewhere around $400 in the year or so. I'm holding on to my pair if I don't wear them because it's such a fire shoe and it's such a simple colorway that you can really wear it with anything.